Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to talk about the Cooler Master Hyper 212. This right here is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus, which for quite some time has been one of the most popular aftermarket heatsink fans on the market, both for its price and its performance. What we have to share with you folks today is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, the new version of the Hyper 212 Plus, and uh, apart from the pleasant plum coloring on the box. We're going to share with you uh, some of the features of this heatsink fan as well as the differences between this and the 212 Plus. Now for starters here I've taken the heat sinks themselves out of their respective boxes and I've removed the fans because the fans you can just look at and you can tell they're a little bit different. But I was curious about the heat sinks themselves and upon first inspection I was not able to tell much difference between these two. For instance in turning them to the side uh, you can see that the specs are pretty much the same. They are both uh, 51 millimeters wide that way. Uh, that makes 71 millimeters wide once you add on the heat sink fan. Turning them both this way, you can see that they are both 120 millimeters wide from that direction. And then from top to bottom, both of them measure 158.5 millimeters from the contact plate down there up to the top of the heat pipes. Both of them have the same four heat pipe design. Both of them have the same configuration as well as design of the fins themselves, as you can see from that view from the top. And uh, I, was, I was pretty much thinking to myself, what has Cooler Master done? Have they given us the same heat sink and simply given us a new fan? And the answer is no, because, and looking at the bottom, you can tell my 212 Plus over here has a heat pipe configuration that is different from our Hyper 212 Evo over here. And that is what Cooler Master is calling direct contact heat pipes that use a continuous direct contact technology. So pretty much you can see that the heat pipes themselves are squished together. So you don't have the gaps in between them that you see over here on the 212 Plus. The 212 Plus over here has actually already been used and I did my best to clean it off, but you can still see that there is some thermal paste kind of wedged in there in between the, the heat pipes. Uh, as we all know, air, air gaps and bubbles uh, between the uh, surface of your heat sink and the uh, heat spreader on your CPU are bad. They will reduce your thermal conductivity. So over here we can just see a flatter and more, universal, more uniform surface, which should give you better contact between the heat sink fan and uh, your CPU heat spreader itself, and which should lead to improved thermal conductivity and improved cooling. Now a quick comparison of the two fans. Again, both 120 millimeter, both 600 to 2000 RPM PWM fans. Uh, both of them have a 40,000 hour life expectancy. However, the translucent smoky fan over here on my left, your right, of the 212 Evo is a little bit quieter at the lowest RPM, nine uh, decibel A rating versus 13 decibel A rating for the 212 Plus. Uh, a little bit louder at the highest RPM, 36 uh, dBA versus 32 dBA, uh, but it does move a little bit more air, 24.9 to 82.9 CFM versus uh, the 212 Plus, which is 21.2 to 76.8. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo aftermarket CPU heatsink fan for AMD and Intel platforms. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.